Okay, so we have, as you can see, cleared out all of the, uh, the side walls and the ceiling. Yesterday was a big day of just removing the last little bits of loose fiberglass. Uh, we just did that with a brush on the end of the shop vac and just wiping everything around and pulling up the loose fiberglass wherever possible. Uh, all we have for interior panels at this point are the two on the back wall, which um, they had a plastic surround around the window trims, which I was concerned about uh, getting uh, separated so that we could pull the metal interior wall out without disturbing the gasket on the outside of the back because the uh, the waterproofing is actually around on the outside of the uh, the, the two windows and the, the gasket strip. Uh, so we managed to get those surrounds broken off from the inside and the wall should just pull straight away. So that's the next thing that you're going to see. Okay, so these are the surrounds I was talking about, and we just broke the trim uh, so that when the metal wall comes out, it's just going to leave this intact, and then once this wall is away, we'll be able to pull these plastic pieces out. Um, we were actually able to get the entire trim piece out from this side, uh, just because it had broken farther in, it was able to just kind of get manhandled out. But this one, a little tighter, and I'm really concerned about uh, risking that glass, so uh, I'm just going to work around it as best I can, and we'll see just what kind of a mess we have behind us. Uh, it looks like there was a family of mice that actually made a bedding home inside here. There's a lot of uh, debris, we'll call it, uh, which I can see and hear rattling around as I'm shaking this thing out. So as we grind it away and get to what's behind, we'll see just how big of a mess we have. Okay. exit buzzer. Uh, it was actually bypassed inside the unit so that that door did not uh, buzz when you opened up the door. Uh, I just have it capped off just because it's quieter without that thing going on all the time anyway. But uh, once I remove the actual sensor, I can just uh, jump to the wires to get I'm going to pull this and remove the wiring through here. and then reattach it. took a lot more elbow grease than I expected it to. The sealant had really seeped around the edges and attached pretty heavily to the plastic. Um, a combination of using a utility knife and then just kind of prying the material away and breaking it section by section was the best thing that I could do. And just kind of pulling straight along the same plane as the back metal. 